Hello and welcome to Verdi's lecture uh, episode 8. Um, the topic you can see up here is how to practice the right way. Mass gaming is not the right way. Um, yeah, so so much to the topic. Um, I have to like explain to you two, two things now. First of all, what is Verdi's lecture? I'm talking about stuff um, to educate the community, um, to bring you inside information of uh, you probably never heard of or you maybe had vague information but I will bring more depth into certain things, for example to anti-cheat development as I did before in an episode, um, talking about um, coaching in eSport, um, talking about uh, eSport in general, like how do you develop a game into eSport, like more or less the branding, etc, etc. Or what is a pro player, for example. Um, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Second thing is what I want to talk about, actually it's three in total. Um, it's pretty fun. I actually recorded an episode yesterday, but it, it, well, I actually, it, I, I thought I recorded it, but I didn't. I, so I pressed the uh, shortcut on my keyboard, but I was in OBS in a different profile. So the keyboard was not mapped in this profile. So yeah, I got owned. So I already did this recording once, but it wasn't a recording. It was just in my head. So um, yeah, I will do that now again. Um, basically, I also want to uh, yeah say sorry from my side for not delivering... Um, in a high frequency as I did in the beginning. So um, I will resume that, but I'm really busy with casting the Pro League and uh, casting Challenger, doing my German Community Cups, doing other projects. Um, I'm really busy right now. So um, yeah, coming to Challenger and a Pro League, um, I want to just talk about how to practice right, because I saw yesterday example, yesterday was an ex extraordinary example of um, people being uh, or a team, my revenge, being mega excited, having too much pressure and losing this. Um, also being overconfident, etc, etc. So, just going for that as a basic information which you need to know and brand into your mind and have it tattooed on your forehead. Winning a practice match unequals a good and productive practice. So, Many people are like, ah, but we won against Zizou in practice, 5-0. Why did we lose now, 5-0? Yes, because they just practiced. And you are supposed to practice too. So compare your practice style to MMA and boxing. In MMA and boxing, they're like 40%, 20%. Maybe when they're preparing, when they're close to the fight, they go up to 80% of um, um, the, the actual power they can invest into a match so 40% is to look to play slower to look where the where are your mistakes to to maybe show, have some shoulder hints which give away a jab or whatever so <coughs> this is stuff which you always have to keep in mind if you don't do that it's your fault and if you lose and and then you excuse yourself and say you're sorry but you actually won against them in a practice who cares i don't because it's just a sad excuse for not practicing right. So um, I divided uh, the, the practice, well, my theory about real practice um, into three steps. First step is you have to optimize your own health. So watch your body, your own constitution. Um, what you have to keep in mind at the priority A+, plus, triple A, whatever you want to call it. Like it's really a huge deal. Eat good. Have good health. Um, be like you have to eat in a very, 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 very strict way. You have to have high energy levels for your brain. So do some research. Ask your doctor. Like, hey, I'm doing gaming. I'm doing a bit of jogging for that later. Um, I need like to have a very good plan of, of of food. Like, have a good dining plan. What shall I eat? What shall I not eat? Uh, Etc. Because without energy, your brain will not work. It's like, did you actually try to drive a car without gasoline? So, yeah, by the way, this is why electric cars have an issue right now on the market, because 
yeah, obviously, they have um, a limited ranges and they're really hard to recharge. And the same goes for a human body. So always have a banana when you're when you're on an event, when you're playing a tournament or whatever. Have a banana right next to you because it, it's it, it can happen that you cannot leave your desk. So you have to eat snacks. So get fruits, vegetables, whatever as snacks instead of popcorn or uh, chips or whatever you can eat, like cookies, like I do. So you have to get healthier food because you need all the energy for your brain you can get because this game Rainbow Six Siege that game here is really really tough on your brain so you have to also drink water you have to drink really healthy stuff um, juices whatever get vitamins as much as you can have a good balance from playing so um, you have to have find you have to find a very good balance you have to go jogging you have to do other outscore stuff uh, outdoor stuff or whatever to to burn the energy for your muscles instead of like doing nothing and just gaming mass gaming is not the key by the way so um, you have to also have the right balance and then have a very very strict setup um, of your <clears throat> of your life like you have to take breaks because if you do not take breaks from gaming or whatever um, it just destroys your mind because you're over killing yourself you can't you, you're getting way too much into the game you're just way too overfloating again your brain with information you need to reset it for once a time so breaks are needed a day off or two is not bad no on the contrary it's actually very productive you should try it so everyone who's like oh i'm playing 12 hours a day and i'm so awesome well you could perform better if you have a better strict plan so even players with 12 hours on the clock are not good compared to others so um, when you go to that, you also have to um, have a, a, a very good PC setup, like your desk, for example. You have to have you have to find your height of the chair. You have to find a very good position for your um, for your desk, for your keyboard, etc. You have to have everything smooth that you feel comfortable right in front of your screen because this is your business. You have to be comfortable. You have to feel happy when you're in front of the screen. Not like, ah, maybe this is something issue here or it's dirty. Yeah, then clean the fucking table. You know, if you don't feel comfortable, you cannot perform. And if you cannot perform, you perform bad and may have get a, get a bad reputation. And not like someone, oh, he probably had a bad day. No, a pro gamer does not have a bad day. If you have a bad day, you are inconsistent. And inconsistency is an issue. You have to work on that one. So, um... Yeah, you have to really find the um, you have to find a real good strategy of a plan. So to find a good strategy, you have to set up first a timetable, a weekly day. Uh, let's go from a day table. You get up at like let's say 8 a.m. 8:30, which is a good time. Why not getting up so early? Because then you can get up, get a coffee. I, no one cares about one coffee or three. It's it's okay over the day. Then you eat at whatever, let's say at 9.15. Then you go out with the dogs from 9.45 to 10.45 for one hour because you're going jogging, you're doing all the stuff you need. And then from 11, you start on working on your, on your stuff like recapping videos, working on strategies. Don't play because you will burn your energy. So you have to find all the timetables. And this is what I mean. You have to find a strict timing table for each day. From each day you work on the week. Then from a week you work on a month. And from a month you work on a year table. So you set up something which is like a student table. It's like a curricula of what do workout do I do when? It's like a, like a bodybuilder or, body or like a, a boxer, like an MMA, like a sports guy. You have to find the right course for your um, practice to go on so if you don't do that you're not right so you have to find this way and this is like an education you have to do that because it really helps it's not like me talking about stuff no it really helps so try that um going over to that as i said breaks you have to take them because at some point you will burn out if you over act in this kind of way so Relax, smooth down, and take a breath, okay? Just take a day or two off. Like a weekend, it's good. Or in midweek, maybe it's better because on weekends there are tournaments or whatever. Just take a day off, do something, stream, uh, play on whatever, don't try hard, just have fun, go out with your friends. This is all you need, to be honest. Then we go to the second step. The second step is be true to yourself. Um, 
you have to now we go we go on all exterior things except of gaming so we have the setup of the table done we have the timetable we have my we have, we have the um the the outside work out like we go jogging we go badminton we do crossfit we do fitness center whatever you want to do you can go mma for fuck's sake i don't care because if that helps you it's awesome because respect from my side really then you found the key already the first step is done the second step is you have to be true to yourself so self-reflecting is a key and it really is a key so self-reflecting means you find the issue on your end instead of blaming the others that is really something you have to work on because it's easier to blame the others instead of blaming yourself for either an incompetent move or you did a real bad mistake so you excuse yourself and work on it with a team the others should also stop mocking on that if you're like okay um i admit i did a bad move there for example yesterday there were some really bad rotations uh, from sad boys or from radiant or from my revenge and um, you should not mock on that each day each day each day no it's good to say it one time work on a solution and then get over it and win the next matches so be true to yourself self-reflect so if you lose a round recall this round watch the uh, recordings from the caster watch your own recordings in my opinion every player in the team should always record each match you do because then you can compare each timestamp of a match um, together and see from each perspective what happened at that point of time so it really could help you guys uh, so you should try that because there's so many things you can uh, you have um, the Nvidia recording you have OBS you have so many things which you can use to record your match ma your your matches and even you're on the safe side if you do so so it's uh, it's pretty cool so um, do not over practice so be true to yourself means to listen to your body at a certain point of time if you're losing concentration or whatever in practice stop because your energy is done reflect again okay why why am i not concentrating because maybe my mindset is wrong because my girlfriend broke up or um i broke my 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 small toe or whatever um then you have to be true to yourself and accept this that this is not possible right now find a solution and then get back to practice or stop practicing because it maybe will not benefit no it could actually make things worse so always stay true to yourself and uh, yeah find a good balance if you're not don't not over prec i mean don't overplay too um find a good balance between analyzing plays from the opponents on the maps on yourself on the team and play actively so if you stream you stream but don't try hard all the time because you burn out at a certain point of time you burn out because rainbow six has so many things not so many variables to have to be considered for any shot caller for any player and compared to counter-strike to um crossfire to unreal tournament unreal tournament is already tough like quake because you have to do all the mess like okay i have to find my rotation based on the timing when i took up the rocket launcher and then the uh, quad damage uh, the, yeah the quad damage and the um uh the the shield the 150 shield whatever so you really have to be careful and um in Rainbow Six, it's okay. I enter a room. Every from every side, I can be shot, and there's no hole in the wall. So I, you have to be careful all the time. So you have to take into consideration every call, every timing there can be. So really, yeah, just keep that in mind. If you overstress your brain, you can work on having it conditioned so you can make it a bit more um, into routine thinking. So um, it could help. So um, also the next thing is if you um, practice against other teams very away from the basic league rules just set up a match you want to you, you have a bad attack on on the map like uh, my revenge has not a so good attack on border so they should go to whatever team like let's go let's tell them to go to zizu and tell them hey zizu would you like to practice against your would you like to practice your defense on border so we can practice our attack and they are like, yeah. So you set up the the playlist in Rainbow Six Siege to the maximum amount of rounds. You set up the infinite overtime, and then you can play. And you set up the the round swap, the team swap on the maximum amount. So you play maybe four or five rounds in a row as an attack, and that helps. And the other team can practice the defense, and they are not giving a hundred percent. And then you you can start practicing onto certain situations and repeatedly 
attack, 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 attack. So think outside of the box, ask the teams. You, you can't communicate, you're able to talk English, so do so. As you, if you watch my video and understand it, you can call any team out and ask them, hey, can we do that? And then just be fair and tell them, hey, you wanna swap, you wanna attack eight rounds? No problem, well, let's do this. So everything is practice. In this kind of way, just put yourself out there, uh, create playlists in game with all the tests, all the practices you can set up and go for it. Because, for example, in Counter-Strike, um, um, practice scores of 20 to 20 or 38 to 38 or 45 to 40 are not that uncommon because they practice the map 100 rounds straight or maybe with breaks and they keep on going because they can and they want to and this is what you're supposed to do too. No, what I hear is uh, we won against them 5-0 in prac but we lost 5-1. Five, uh, hmm, I don't know why that happened. You, you don't keep score of practices. I don't, no one does. I mean, look at con, look at conventional sports. In, in, in soccer, for example, they're practicing all the time. And they're friendly matches. Friendly matches are based, like, they are on league rules. And then everyone's like, ah, oh, they won. But still, it's like an 80% match. But they're like, ah, oh, they won. This is cool. No, in practice, it's practice. No one keeps, there's no practice league where you can keep on count and say, ah, oh, uh, they, they are not good. We won practices. It's okay. It's meh. No, no, just practice is practice. No one cares about practice, you know? So, um, yeah, play as much rounds as possible as there are possible for you. Um, also, every player in a team has to find, like, has to work on his own position, on his position compared to the position on his teammates on the map so you can just load the map with a maximum amount of time and just run through the map destroy as much as you can restart the map destroy again find angles talk about the angles with your team so again be true to yourself and just self-reflect work on what happened in the game and then just yeah try to watch your opponents and recreate situations analyze the stuff and analyze your own faults and try to get rid of your own faults and always think about yourself first and self-reflect first in order uh, before you blame the others because this is not working so now step number three is personality so now we go more into the team thing so we have the first step we have the surrounding we have you as a player now we go into personality and fitting into the team so don't blame the team anytime they can be like you're jet lagged and everything just did not work out uh, really then you can blame the team but there's just exceptional issues there so you as a team a team effort means you have to stick together all the time stick together you are a team so trying to find the solutions as a team you work on your own fault and then call it to the team and tell them hey i found my issue let's practice this and maybe i can get rid of this and you need to help me and they will do so because you're a team because they will be happy that you actually came forward said hey i i found my issue and i have an issue you have to help me and they're like okay let's work on it together 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 not like this not blaming the other like oh you ain't shit i don't want you okay this just doesn't work so support each other and be critical to each other but without insulting so you can call someone out and say hey that move was really bad you should have done this and this and that that was the right one because you called him you told him okay that was a bad move you told him what you should have what he should have done so you gave him what was wrong and you gave him a solution don't go like oh that move was bad so what shall I've done? Uh, uh, what shall I? Sh what shall I have done in the other way around? And you're like, uh, I don't know. Well, this is like asking your girlfriend when she's the, your girlfriend is coming to you and telling you, hey, I'm hungry, and you're like, okay, what do you want to eat? I don't know. Okay, but you're hungry, and you don't know what you want to eat. That is like contradictional. That just doesn't work. Okay, so this is the same. So you have to find the feedback rules. Five sentences. Explain what the issue is. Explain how to get rid of the issue. In five sentences, it's harsh, but you also have to accept this criticism. So, still, in a team, you have to give this, but then at a certain point of time, stop it and help your guy to find the solution. So also try to help the others. When you are critical to your players, help them to solve the issue too. And be really appreciative of any feedback that is coming from your team, to be honest, because it's just huge, okay? So, so you get feedback and this is not a standard way. Um, 
Yeah, there is so much things I could go on and talking, but it's all in all we have a team game. You have to practice together. Um, you have to find the issues together, solve the, the 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 issues together. And now, when it comes down to a team, try to get closer with the team. Try to find outside work. Let's call it work. Um, practices. Go play soccer. Go play other games. Go play. Go out. Have fun, help each other. When someone is moving, try to help him moving. Um, this is why Virtus Pro, the Counter-Strike team, is so good because they always stuck together. And right now they are legends and they are the most earning team out there. They are the team that earns the most money in Rainbow Six, uh, not in Rainbow Six, but in Counter-Strike. And probably in eSport per month. I mean, they are like 20k each player per month, that is huge. And they have been like this for four years now. And they are performing really good and this is Proving again, the friendship over everything works because someone's. Uh, I was talking to Ovi and Tornado Toby in the um, uh, after the season one finals, and Ovi said, "I rather take someone with a six out of ten aim uh, and uh, communication with nine out of ten compared to someone who has a ten out of ten aim but a communication with a six out of ten because on aim you can work, but on communication, if someone is insultive and really bad in communicating like a simple, um, I just don't want to have that guy in my team because he's a troublemaker, he will make drama and that won't just work out. So this is what you want to have, okay? So work on this. And um, so getting, uh, getting together as a team and helping each other and then growing together to be five friends and with a coach six friends and with a manager seven friends is really 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 good so you have to really work on that so um yeah learn how to give feedback learn how to eat properly learn how to practice right in game have a timetable set up and um yeah you're good to go so try to find like the virtus pro golden line of creating a team and um, then you're really going to have a really good time in the game and you have the possibility to grow in esports. And right now Rainbow Six Siege is growing so fast, you should really take this into consideration because the game will grow so fast that there will be, in my opinion, and this is my humble opinion, there will be full-time teams soon. I mean, there are already in Brazil, but in EU and NA, I think 2018 and 2019 will be the time where there is going to be a very good salary for the game because the game is so good and I love the game. So if you enjoyed the video too, leave a thumbs up. If you like the channel, there's more coming, there's other uh, VODs out there, leave a sub. And uh, so far, thank you very much for watching the video and I see you next time.